This is Patil and Mikey coming to you from the space, not the space, from in front of a space rocket, from in front of a rocket. Um, as you guys know, I'm in Toulouse in south of France and today it was supposed to be rainy, so what better day to go to a space museum than a rainy day. So we're here today, we're going to try to learn some things. This is very new um, and right behind me is a life-size replica of the Ariane 5 rocket. See, I'm already learning. There are signs everywhere, so I'm going to try to read as much as possible and take you around and then hopefully it will be useful. So let's go enjoy the space. <laughs> uh. So this museum is called in French Cité de l'espace, which means the city of space city in English, if you translate it. Um, it's a scientific discovery center that was opened in 1997, and since 2012, there were over 4 million people who already visited this place. So it's a very popular must see place if you're in Toulouse. Here you see the first French satellite, and right above here you see the first Russian satellite. It's called Sputnik 1, uh, and it was launched on October 4 of 1957. I totally did not read that off of somewhere. <laughs> And now behind me, you can see the Chang'e rope probe. I'm still learning, um, which was a Chinese probe that was launched in December 2018. And the mission of it, it landed softly on the dark side of the moon. And um, it was to discover the rover, to explore the rover. Fun fact number 55, it's the first probe that actually landed softly on the moon. So soft landing, you know, it's a thing. So now we're in front of a Russian, Russian space station. Um, it's called Mir, it's right behind me. We're gonna go inside it actually. And there were uh, men and women from over 14 nations who actually lived in the station. And uh, one of them is from Syria, so whoop, whoop. Okay, let's go in. Behind me right now, you see the planet, planet, planet. A few moments later. Planetarium, which um, when you go in, it's basically like a dome ceiling. So kind of like a 3D, but not 3D, but you do feel like you're under the stars. And it's like a whole presentation and it comes with translation audio headsets. Um, you learn about the solar system, your solar systems, and how many other solar systems are around the solar system, which I think is pretty cool. I'm seeing a lot of schools coming here to do, um, to show the, like, the kids these types of things. So in case people are interested in space from younger age, this is, I think, a cool way for them to get a visual and get more engaged in the whole situation of
we are now stepping onto the moon. It's me quickly interrupting and yes my background is Yerevan Armenia so make sure you're subscribed to get all the new videos coming up from Armenia uh, but I wanted to come in real quick to say one thing I really really appreciate about this museum is that they set up um, these interactive experiences that kind of bring you within the elements of space so it allows you to experience things that you read about so for example they used to have the moonwalk exhibition which is like zero gravity walk unfortunately that was done by the time that I visited however I will show you in the next second um, they also did this thing where you get to read the weather so you become a weather forecasting person that reads it uh, and it's actually a lot harder than it looks like and if you want to see the full clip of that it's on my patreon so go check it out um, subscribe, join us in the community of Patreon to get the full clip of how that me attempting to read the weather forecast turned out. So hopefully you enjoy! Okay guys, I'm gonna have to go do the weather now. I have to do a weather report, so I have to tell you bye. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, check the whole country. Okay, I'm mixing it up now. Um, thank you so much. Love you guys so much. Bye!